What's up? I've had a lot of requests to do another live uh, drawing video. So we're gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna set it up in the garage like the good old days. But for now, we gotta go pick up my kid. So we are here at school. What's up? Picking up Reed. Reed's gonna ride with me to Home Depot. And I got a power tool combo kit that I personally use that we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get buy a brand new one. We're gonna do a giveaway tonight. Carpool, carpool line. Mr. Chad, it's gonna be a giveaway to whoever wins with the winning number. Uh, you know, we can't say the word raffle, that's, that's illegal, but we are gonna do a $10 donations 25 spots 25 donations for $10 a piece and uh, the winning number gets the prize given to them uh, Tyler let's schedule it for 9 p.m. Central that way I can get the kids to bed get everything set up in the garage fix me a little something to drink and um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, we'll say start at 9 p.m. but so 25 donation spots at $10 a piece. And um, the uh, and you pick your numbers. And we'll go straight through Cash App instead of PayPal. I hate PayPal now, so we'll do Cash App. But um, I think it'll be a good, uh, good prize for y'all. But living the dad life now, you know, getting to pick my kid up from school. That's, uh, I couldn't do that before. You know, being on the road in Texas, I can't pick my kid up from school. So now I get to pick him up, ask him how his day is. And, uh, you know, I've been holding off. We gotta, we're building a fence at the house because my damn dogs keep running off. So we gotta finish up the fence. Uh, we got about, 35 40 foot of fence to do i set the post in concrete yesterday so they're good to go and uh reed told me to wait until he got out of school so he can help me so um reed knows how to run you know impact and a drill and everything like that he's been doing that since he was two years old so he's gonna help me put up fence boards and all that so it's a great bonding time with your kids man you know they all love the ipads and the phones and everything and you can't deny that from them. That's just the way technology is nowadays. Um, you know, they, they like to, they actually do a lot of learning that way as well. But, you know, when it's time to go outside and get some work done and teach him how to work with his hands, um, take the time and do it with your kids. Because I could do it twice as fast by myself and I could have knocked it out this morning while he was in school. But uh, we'll both enjoy the time a lot more when we do it together so it'll take me twice as long and but he'll really enjoy it those are the kind of things you remember as a kid um you know you don't remember oh my daddy made so much money blah 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 when he was away from home and he bought me presents and they don't remember that shit they remember the time they spend with you and the things that y'all do together as father and son so that's that's what memories are made of it's not about the material shit so that's what we're going to do this afternoon. So I'll let y'all do a little live with that too. So y'all can see my little five-year-old get down with a power drill. Um, like I say, he's been using power tools since he was two. I've been teaching him, you know, how to use impacts and uh, he knows how to use ratchets and pick the right sockets. And, um, he knows how to use wrenches and drills. And, um, I mean, he can use a half-inch impact and take the tires off this truck. Reed's, uh, 
pretty proficient with that stuff. I know when he was two, I bought him, a, I got on Craigslist and bought him a toolbox full of used sockets and ratchets, which they were all craftsman stuff, but somebody was selling them for like 30 bucks, the whole box. Because all I had was snap on stuff then, and I was like, man, I don't want you losing my damn sockets. So I bought him his own toolbox, and he'd put them all in order by size. He couldn't read the numbers, but he could line up sockets by size. And I'd put a few test bolts in a two by four, and I let him find the right size and learn how to turn a ratchet forward and re reverse. And, um, good times. So what's everybody doing today? Working, I assume. This morning, me and Christina went and test drove the Kia Telluride and a Kia Stinger GT1. Um, she really liked the Telluride. Um, it's a little small for me. It's about Ford Explorer size. I thought it'd be a little bit bigger, but it's a nice ride for sure. But that little Stinger GT gets down. That twin turbo V6 with that eight speed auto with the paddle shifters, that thing hauls ass, man. Like I nailed it like zero to 70 from a red light. It moves out good, man. And that's that's a luxury sports sedan there. Like it's full, I mean, suede interior, leather seats, heated and cooled, tr I mean, track mode and all that stuff. It's a nice little car. I mean, fully loaded, decked out for like 45 grand. It's nothing, uh, you know, it's not cheap, but for what you get for that money, that's a lot of car. I mean, Brembo breaks the whole nine yards. Yeah, Kia and Hyundai really have stepped their game up in the past, you know, five, six, seven years. I also looked at a K900, the Kia K900, which is the luxury sedan. That thing's on par with a Mercedes S-Class, man. You want to talk about decked out with the reclining rear seats and the full digital display dash and I mean, top of the line interior. That thing's on par with a damn Mercedes. I think it was like 65 grand fully loaded. That's a lot of money for a Kia, but that K900 is a is a luxury sedan for sure. Yeah, Nesta, it surprised me how clean that car is. If you debadge that car, you never even know what it was. Like if you took those Kia badges off and just left it all blacked out. You wouldn't even know what the hell that thing is. I really like the Kia Stinger though, but fitting three kids in there would be a little tough, especially one in a baby seat and two booster seats. Uh, we really need something with a third row. The Telluride, man, was nice. Just too small, man. Mark, if you hadn't seen one of those Stingers, look up a Kia Stinger GT, GT1, or whatever. Like, that's a sharp-ass car, man. It's a four-door, but it's got, it's like a sport hatch in the back, and it looks like, like a Porsche Panamera is what it looks like. Nah, Lolo, I'm in the carpool line picking up my kid. I gotta pick up Reed from school. Um, but we're getting the Milwaukee uh, combo, the one with the drill, the mini impact with the m12 batteries and the charger the bag the whole thing um the exact the same set i use i love it i use it for everything i like how small they are and you know, i've got a big drill and a big you know screw gun thing but nathaniel we've had uh an escalade we love the escalade um with the 62 ls in it all-wheel drive factory 22 is badass ride that's definitely a possibility for us uh, we were just talking about that this morning because you know we're trying to we don't want to do car notes anymore that's what got me in the mess i was in this past year just i had twenty five hundred dollars a month for two vehicles that's insane man thirty thousand dollars a year for two car notes um when just you know three or four years ago we had all of our shit was paid for the escalade was paid for my mr chrome terminator was paid for and my ford ranger was paid for my Can-Am Outlander was paid for. We had four titles in the nightstand. 
and uh, then you get called up in buying brand new shit all of a sudden you get called up in car notes so yeah we're gonna look at you know like an 11 or 12 model Escalade find one with under a hundred thousand miles you know in the fifteen thousand dollar price range um, and probably get back in an Escalade for now until I can afford to get her a G-Wagon in a few years but yeah that's ridiculous man a Raptor ah Raptor ain't gonna do it for me man it ain't gonna tow what I needed to tow and I pull my camper too much man but don't get me wrong I love a Raptor they're nice but it just ain't gonna do it for me I saw the Hyundai uh, Chandler it doesn't it doesn't look that good to me it's got that too curvy look I like I like boxy SUVs you know, I like ones that have square edges more of a manly look but like I said we really don't I mean that that Kia fully loaded was like 45 grand for a Telluride and uh, you know I could spend a third of that and have a fully loaded Escalade um, I mean of course it's older a 2012 or 13 model but uh, I mean I could spend a third of that we ain't getting no transit van like we don't I don't mean that squared off we still like something that looks good what's up John John you need to buy some of them spots tonight win that Milwaukee giveaway we getting on at 9 p.m. Central Time it gives me time to get the kids to bed get the wife settled in and then uh Give me a little drink going, and then uh, we'll get it set up in the garage like we used to. John, we're doing 25 spots at $10 a spot. I'm going to buy the uh, the power tool combo now. We're going to go to Home Depot. As soon as I pick up Reed from school here, we're waiting on uh, them to let out. What am I drinking tonight, Mark? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I just might go back with Fireball. Fireball is my good old Mississippi drink. Fireball and vanilla Coke. That sounds good to me. Bob, I was looking at that, man. It's a possibility. I don't know. That's hit and miss, though, because you might buy one that has some problems. And I don't want them Mercedes problems. That suspension and shit goes out and those are a transmission? Oh, that's, that's some serious money. Oh, I know, Bob. That thing was nice. No doubt. I mean, you got a good one, but you never know. Uh, you getting a bad one that's on the verge of a transmission going out? I bet that Mercedes transmission ain't cheap at all. Which the Escalade transmission isn't cheap. Um, but, I mean, it's it's just GMLS stuff. I mean, that's a junkyard find. What is it, a 4L80 in there, I think? Plus, I've towed 12,000 pounds with an Escalade. That thing will tow whatever the, whatever you put behind it. Yeah, but Bob, you had not had a transmission go out yet. I'll bet that Mercedes transmission is as high as shit. Fireball and cream soda. We might have to try, try that, Chandler. I never tried that. Yeah, Bob, that's why I'm, our Escalade, if that air ride would have went out, that's all I was going to go is to coilovers. Because she wants one like a lift with 35-inch tires. Um, you know, I think like a 6-inch lift with 35s would be great for her to drive around with. So you got to think all that money we'd be saving with them high-ass car notes, we could, you know, fix, the st fix it up the way she wants it. And then we still own it. It's an asset instead of... 
something that's just shit. All right, John. Yeah, it'll be a minute. I'm still, I don't even know what time uh, they let the kids out. I mean, I'm in line. I'm like the 15th car in line, but I don't even know what time they let them out. I think 1.30. Christina usually comes and picks them up, but she ain't feeling good. This pregnancy is putting a whipping on her. She's nauseous all the time. So I'm trying to give her a break, let her rest. Um, John, I guess you can if you want to, but I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, you can if you want to, but unless you just want to wait until, um, until it's time. But, uh, if you do want to buy spots, the cash app for me is, um, the money sign and then Bo Rogel, B-E-A-U-R-O-G-E-L. Um, that's my cash app sign, but that's what we're going to go through tonight instead of PayPal, because I hate PayPal, we're just going to go straight cash up. I figure that's easier for people anyway. So if you do want to take your chance at winning uh, this power tool combo, and I think we're going to start doing this two or three nights a week. I was either going to do a power tool combo this time, or a Bluetooth speaker from Best Buy, like one of the really nice Sony ones. It's like 250 bucks. Um, so we might rotate between... Um, you know, power tools, electronics, and uh, stuff like that. Just something that everybody can use, so it's not just one specific. Like, I could do something for Super Duties, but then that narrows it down out of a lot of people that are on here. And y'all know I do my live drawings to where everybody can see. There's no bullshit. There's no nothing. Um, and it's shipped right to your door. I don't charge anybody extra for shipping or anything. And of course, I make a few bucks on it too. I mean, that's the whole point of doing these drawings is for the person doing them to make some money. Um, but I figure it's something we can do. Um, on live. But that's about all we've been doing today. You know, all week I've been messing with the toolboxes and mowing the grass, cleaning up the yard, uh, selling a bunch of shit. Truck giveaway, sure. If we can raise enough money for that. I ain't got the page to, I ain't got the subscribers to handle a truck giveaway. I'll give this one away and walk home. <laughs> nah, not really, I need to keep this truck. I love it. This is a nice truck. I think I got a good deal on it. I'm happy with it. I've got it set up just right. These 37s give it a nice little look without being too overbearing. And it's still good for a daily driver work truck. Mark, I don't know anybody for EcoBoost uh, tuning. Honestly, I don't know uh, the different... I don't know the different uh, tuning companies out there that do EcoBoost. Oh, and that Kia, the Stinger had a uh, brake hold feature to where uh, when you activate it, every time you stop, like I'm stopped right now, you just take your foot off the brake and it holds it in place. And uh, then when you hit the gas, it goes. And then when you hit the brake again, you come to a complete stop, you can let off the brake and just hold it. Like you don't have to turn it on and off every time. Once you turn it on, every time you come to a complete stop, it holds the car. And then like you don't have to hit the brake to disable it, you just hit the gas and it goes. And then when you come to a stop again with the brake, it holds it. Like it was pretty cool. And then when you turn it off, of course, then you just have to use the regular foot brake. But that's just awesome for uh, stop and go traffic. So you don't have to hold your foot on the brake the whole time. That was a really cool feature to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, when I saw that button that said auto hold, I'm like, what is this? Some kind of track launch control? No, man, Bob, it, that'll, that's not a short term thing. Uh, Christina's got something going for that, so uh, he'll regret the day he ever even looked at my name. Trust me, Christina doesn't play. She's very, very vengeful and she does it in a legal way. So I let her handle that stuff, which I don't care, man. Whatever. He helped me out. I'm at home with my kids now. That's, uh, that's where I needed to be. Lieutenant Dan, we're going to do the call-in tonight. Yeah, we're going to do it all. We're going to set up for the call-ins and do the giveaway, um, you know, listen to music. Yeah, Bob, we got the IP address. We figured out it was him. I mean, we got his real name and everything. We know where he works. I mean, we got it all. But yeah, we're going to do uh, the call-in show, listen to music, drink, do a giveaway, the whole nine yards. We'll have Bruce Wayne in there. Yeah, Bob, luckily I got something to fall back on. You know, we've had our home base business for over three years. Um, so we, uh, we, um, we, we, we make a living from home. It's just, you know, pipeline money was pipeline money. Um, but it, um, it's, well, we do just fine from home. So we just, got, I mean, we got to tone it back a little bit with our spending habits and stuff, but um, we're fortunate enough to make a good living from the house. Pipeline's always there, though. If I ever get in a bind and need to go back, all I got to do is make a few calls and get back on the right of way, get back out there in a hoe. Shit, Bob, I've been bouncing back, man. Luckily, before you know i lost this job we'd already we've we've called up with bills i mean we're back even now to where you know our monthly bills are just each month we, we were having to catch up with like three or four months behind on certain things you know with the whole shelby incident that cost me a lot of money with attorney fees and bond and fines and impound fees that cost me like 10 grand you know and uh so i mean we're called up now now we can just you know certain day of the month certain bills got to be paid just like everybody else so we just have to plan accordingly for that you know and plus now i don't have to pay another you know thousand dollars a month for me to be in texas with the rv lot fees all my fuel my food um my personal expenses we don't have to pay that anymore since we're all in one place um, my fuel cost will be significantly lower since I'm just a local in town, not traveling that road every week. And uh, I don't have my truck idling for 10 hours a day. And You know, I was having to get an oil change every two weeks. <coughs> that's a lot of fucking driving to get your oil change every two weeks. And that's 150 bucks. So, yeah, we'll be able to cut back on a lot of those expenses. But I'm excited to, you know, spend time with my kids again, man. Take some of the stress off my wife. You know, she's pregnant. She shouldn't have to be at home alone dealing with two toddlers and a newborn baby. That just ain't the way it's supposed to be, man. But we both agreed that if things get tight and we need to, I got to go back on pipeline for a few months. Then I'll make a few calls and get back out there. But it'll be because we need to it won't be just for the extra money and i still get up at six every morning like i've been doing for the past year almost two years so i mean i don't sleep in or anything i still get up and get out there and get to work every day that's the thing when you're self-employed um and working from home you can kind of just do what you want to do and it's hard to stay motivated sometimes to stick to you know an eight or ten hour a day work schedule when you can just kind of just do what you want um so we have to uh i have to stay on that schedule keep pushing you know some days like i mean yesterday we made two thousand dollars selling toolboxes i mean we had a good day selling boxes and you know about 
two thirds of that is profit, a third of it is cost. Um, you know, if I could do that every day, that'd be great. I'd make more money doing that than did pipeline, but there's no guarantees in that business. So, you know, we might have one, we might have a shitty two or three days where we don't make anything. And then we'll have two or three days where we make a thousand plus a day. And then we might have a real hot Saturday where we make six grand. I mean, it's a, uh, and then of course I have to source more inventory as we sell it. So it, um, it definitely makes it a hustle, but we got no health insurance. Um, John, I just got your, uh, cash app. It just popped up on my phone. I got you for seven spots, John. So, uh, just let me know what numbers you want. One to 25, you get the first seven. And then I'll put you on the board right off the bat. But, um, Bob, I think it's your lucky time, Bob. Bob has bought. Bob, how many spots did you buy on the audio giveaway and the drone giveaway? I think you had like 30 spots on each one. Poor Bob. <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant, and kids are in school. I'm picking up uh, my oldest right now. That's why I'm in the carpool line right now. And um, my youngest, we picked him up at 1130. But Reed gets out, I think, at 130. Ben, <laughs> Ben on the headlamp thing, which the headlamp's on the way to you, Ben, but it, uh, <laughs> I think you had four spots and he had six and you still won. Bob's about as unlucky as I am when it comes to this shit. I never win anything, ever. <laughs> ben, you just tell me what spots you want, buddy. Uh, John gets the first seven since he's already paid for seven spots. So whoever, uh, I'm just gonna go in the order of payment, so. I'm not picking no randoms either because Bob had me damn near pick all his numbers and them randoms will kill you because my random game is, is horrible. The guy that won that uh, drone, I forgot his name. Is he ever even on here anymore? He bought one spot. A hundred spots on that board at $10 each. He bought one. And one that, I think it was number 76. Yeah, $10 a spot, Ben. We're doing 25 spots. But he picked one spot, number 76, and won that thousand. It was like a $1,500 drone. That man won a drone for $10. So it shows you, you don't have to try and fill up the damn board to take something home. I mean, he bought one spot. That's pretty cool. I hate it for the rest of y'all. I mean, I hate, it. I hate to see anybody lose, but that's part of the game. I need to get my AC unit back in the garage. I've had my my AC unit, it's a rolling AC. I put it in the RV so I could have three units going in there in Texas. So I need to get it back out of the RV and put it in the garage, cool that garage down. All right, what time do these kids get out of school? I mean, I've been sitting in this carpool line for like 30 minutes. Definitely the only dually on 37s in the carpool line. <laughs> Christina said there is one mom here with a Porsche Panamera GT. Surf, yeah, 9 p.m. Central. We're going to do a live uh, video. You know, we're going to do the call in session, play music, drink, and we're going to do a Milwaukee Power Tool giveaway, which I'm going to Home Depot as soon as I pick the kid. Pick up my kid from school here. hot out here. It's hot in Mississippi. It's just as hot here as it is in Texas, too. 
4 to 9 p.m. Central Time is when we'll go live. So I figure we'll stay on from like 9 to midnight. Dream truck if money didn't matter, like a daily driver, a 2020 F450 Platinum. Leveling kit, 37s and 24s. That'd be my dream daily driver. Uh, my dream truck, like it's not something I would daily drive. Definitely the Mercedes 6x6, the big AMG 6x6. I'd love to have one of those. 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million. And then my daily driver would be. Uh, you know, a third gen CTSV probably, or a Mercedes S65 AMG, the four door. Uh, that'd be my top two daily drivers. ZR1's nice, Bob. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd have a ZR1 as a fun car, but not as a daily driver. You know, I need something I could haul kids and groceries and pick up shit in, but still fast and fun. I think the the, the third gen CTSV would probably be my pick. All blacked out. You know, do a pulley and a tune on it, exhaust, and let it ride. And then, uh, you know, my dream cars would definitely be a uh, Bugatti Chiron, um, a Pagani. I'd like to have a Pagani one day, a Zonda. Um, uh, McLaren P1. Eh, I'm not, man, the Hellcats are nice and all, but they're not as fast as people think they are. And it's still a Dodge. I mean, the interior grade is still Dodge quality. It's nice, don't get me wrong. Uh, I want to, you know, I want to track hog bad. That'd be my perfect mom and dad mobile, like a soccer vehicle track hog. Why did I pick Ford over Chevy? Because I don't like independent front suspension, period. I like a solid front axle on a one-ton truck. So that's the sole reason why I'll never buy a Duramax. The only reason. I like running big, heavy tires, man. John, I just got your numbers on Instagram, so it just popped up in my messenger. Yeah. And then that would I'd definitely, uh, you know, I want a law Ferrari. That'd be nice to have one day. I mean, this is all like if I won Powerball. Like I just watched the, I watched a YouTube video yesterday. The woman and uh, that won the 1.6 billion dollar Powerball last year. Um, that's that's insane. You know the cash value on that. After you know they take half for taxes, then they take half of that half. For the cash payout, she got 349 million. 349 million out of 1.6 billion dollars. Like that would kind of piss me off. I'd be like, you know, I got 349 million, but you motherfuckers just took 1.3 billion dollars from me. I better not ever have to pay taxes ever again. That's it. You've got all your tax dollars from me for the rest of my life. That's crazy. 1.3 billion in taxes and then the cash payout penalty or whatever but yeah yeah mark i said 78 percent of uh, powerball winners are broke and bankrupt within five years that's correct but 349 million that's kind of tough to blow through there man that's some serious that's some serious change that's serious money like you could blow through a hundred million, like Dan Bilzerine balling out of control for five years for a hundred million. Put two hundred into a good investment account to where it's doing like a seven percent return. Like let's say you put two hundred million into a mutual fund or the proper savings account or whatever at a seven percent return. I mean, what's a seven percent of a hundred million? Seven million a year. So you're looking at 14 million a year just off of that 200 million, and you don't even touch the the principal. 
like you don't even touch 200 million, 7% return, $14 million a year. I mean, that's, that's like a quarter million dollars every Friday, every Friday. Every Friday for the rest of your life, 250 grand goes in your bank account, just in interest. If you can't make it by on that, and you'd never touch the principal, like you would never touch the 200 million in the bank. If you can't make it off of a quarter million a week, every Friday, then you deserve to lose it all. You deserve to lose it all. I'd have so much Amazon shit sitting in my door. Nathaniel straight axle is the best for everything, man. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Straight axle is the best for everything. Towing, pulling. I mean, off-road longevity. Longevity. Um, you know, I don't have to replace tie rods or ball joints and all that shit. I mean, I don't have to fuck with that. Plus, I mean, I'm running 37 by 1350s with a two-inch leveling kit. How much lift do you have to put on a GMC 3500 to clear 37 by 1350s? I don't want to get a Cummins because of the transmission. I mean, I'm sorry, but the transmissions are really bad. You can't deny that. That's just a, uh, yeah, the, the Cummins engine is great. You know, which one of the big three makes their own engine? Ford does. I mean, the 6.7 Power Stroke is made in-house. You know, the things that make the, the, the Ram and the Silverado great trucks, great heavy-duty trucks, are third-party sources. I mean, the Allison Transmission, the Duramax, the Cummins, all that is third-party stuff. That's not made in-house. But the Power Stroke, the 6.7 Power Stroke, is made by Ford. There's no third party to that. <coughs> but I mean that's just that's just my choice, man. It's cheap to delete and tune. I mean, you can delete and tune these things for under seven hundred bucks, and that's with the exhaust and the tuner program. Um, you just uh What's it cost to delete the new L5P? I heard it's like $6,000. Because you have to replace the computer and shit. What's up, Dylan? All right, this carpool thing's getting ridiculous. Why did Christina send me up here so soon? Have I been to SEMA? Nope. I was supposed to go last year, man. God, it just seems like it's so overcrowded. What's up, Trevor? And you know what, man? You know, I respect all these builds. Um, you know, all these SEMA builds and stuff, but it's it it's such this it's the same thing every time now. Big lift kit, big 30-inch rims, big mud tires, vinyl wrap, some custom grill and LEDs. But the true customs you know, in the in the early two thousands and stuff, like the 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 truck the trucks, the, you know, the like the lowered and bag trucks, especially the mini trucks, and then you know, like the Chevy fifteen hundreds and the Sierras and stuff, those had true fabrication in them. I mean, that was fabricated, hand done work. They wouldn't just bolt on stuff. You know, it's a uh, nowadays anything that's at SEMA, you can probably just buy on online and bolt it on yourself it's very little custom custom fabricated stuff um there is still custom fabricated stuff there but for the most part it's just a bunch of shiny powder coated or chrome bunch of lights big stupid lift kits that are useless and the rim sizes are getting ridiculous too man like they got 32s and stuff now come on man 32 inch rims on a truck I'm not knocking it, man, if that's your thing. But, you know, when you have 44 inch tall tires that have a sidewall that thick, do your thing, man, whatever. It's just not for me. You know, I'm just, I'm not gonna spend $20,000 on a set of wheels. I don't care how much money I have. 
you know, I think at 24s and 26s, that's about as big as I would want to go. 24s, I think, would be nice. I went with 22s on my black truck just because I wanted the big sidewalls with the 40s. Um, you know, I've had 24s before. Um, you know, I've ran 17-inch bead locks on a Jeep and 24-inch American Forces. I've, I've done them both. Um, they both serve their own purpose, but to each their own. I'm not going to say one of them's gay. Like some people, they'll say every style that they don't have is gay or they just get mad because they can't afford it, which is the true reason why most people hate other people's styles. But, um, you know, if we all drove the same shit, it'd be a boring world. So to each their own. Like I don't, I don't like, I don't like, you know, import cars for the most part. I think it's a waste of money to try and make a front wheel drive car fast. I think it's stupid, but I respect it. I mean, that, that's cool. How will I protect myself from getting fired from the next job? Well, my wife is my boss now, so she owns the company that that I work for at home. So I guess I'll just be nice to her and make her grilled cheese sandwiches. That's definitely the best protection from getting fired from that job. That makes sense, right? Wait, my grilled cheese sandwiches are pretty on point too. Oil field related, man, I hope I never even have to go back. But if I do, I'll go out there and run a hoe like I always do. Lieutenant Dan, the cheesecake, she says it's all right. She says it's good. I tasted a piece. I didn't like it. It tastes like a frozen cake. Oh, Dylan, yeah, for sure. That's a lesson learned. That's uh, my fault for, you know, posting videos on at work. Um, my fault, 100%. So, yeah, it's a lesson learned. But, oh, well, it is what it is now. Ain't no point in losing sleep about it. Y'all notice what I did. I hooked my damn RV up an hour after. I was back in Mississippi the next day and I was making money selling toolboxes. So I don't sit around and pout too much. When is the last time I've had sex, Peter? Um, right before we found out we were pregnant? I mean, we have to wait. We have, uh, we've had pregnancy difficulties in the past, so me having sex isn't really a priority over the baby's health right now so it's been like three weeks is that okay we've been together for eight years so um, you know I can we can go without for a couple weeks if we have to for the baby's sake that's fine What is going on here? It is like it's almost it's almost two o'clock. Been here since like one ten. Ben, you know how it is. People like to troll on here, and the trolls don't like when I respond with logic, though. That's why I don't just ignore it. I give them logical reason, explanations to their questions, and they're like, "Holy fuck, he really did answer it," and then they just disappear. Especially when they do the call. Y'all remember when the trolls actually call in to the call-in lines? Hey, hey, man. Fuck you. You motherfucker. I got so much money. Blah, blah, and I just make them look stupid and they hang up. <clears throat> Lieutenant Dan, I don't know, man. It's so many people are low-key with the snitching stuff, so I don't know. Detroit, what juice am I using? I don't even know what this is. I left it at home, so I don't know. Ben, I don't think they're coming out anymore. They used to when I first started doing the live stream call-ins. They thought they'd hop on there. And uh, 
someone from the site? Nah, Dylan. It wasn't nobody from my job site. Nobody at my job site even gets on YouTube. They were very, they were, I was the only person from our company at that whole site. I was basically the company representative at that site. It was definitely a call in, which they said they, I mean, when they called in, it was, which we were able to track the number and get the IP address. I've got their home address now, their real name, where they work. Um, so don't worry, Christina's got some plans for that. I'm staying out of it because I don't want to go back to jail, but Christina's handling it. But we do have all that information. find my glasses i think i lost my damn blenders my my shades i always wear i don't know where they are i think i left them in one of them damn kias where are these kids dylan i mean if they're happy with their life that's great and if they're not i'm sorry for them but takes a special kind for sure but that's part of the repercussions of me putting my life out there you know a lot of my my close friends the ones i have like my personal friends here at home all of them tell me it's stupid for me to do these videos and in a way they're right but i always tell them man i'm not gonna have some troll have that control over me because that's what they're looking for is the control to say oh i made that guy quit doing what he's doing so, I'm, uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. I'm just going to be a little bit more cautious. Nick, I'd love a boat. It's just not in the cards for right now. Maybe next year. I've had a pontoon boat before I really loved. I like pontoons. Great family boat. Oh, Christina wants to wear a little sexy ass dress today too and she knows good and well I can't do nothing about it that's messed up like you supposed to be wearing sweatpants and no makeup if, if, if the rules are I'm not allowed to touch anything she gonna wear a sexy little blue dress today that's messed up Christina no one is off limits to me right now It's like me making a grilled cheese and giving it to Bruce. <laughs> All right, kids are coming out now. Nah, sir, she ain't doing it on purpose to like bother me. She just, she always likes to look like that. I mean, she always dresses up nice and, but usually there's benefits to me when that kind of stuff happens. But, Especially since the kids are in school for half the day. No, Nick, the place where I was picking up Chris's uh, Can M X3 and his Ranger, uh, they were closed. But the other place was open where I'm doing where I dropped off Reed's four wheeler, um, and it should be ready next week. Hurry up with this carpool line. Come on. Yeah, one woman's picking up four kids. Jeez. 
you've got four kids in elementary school, like you on a mission. That's back to back to back to back. She got kids like the Bulls had championship ranks. Just back to back. Don't do a burnout when I let you don't have to worry about that. I've never acted stupid on school property. I'm not dumb. Cause I'd whoop the fuck out of somebody if they if they did it. Put my kid here. Mark, you ain't got five kids in elementary. Are you serious? And I got part of my favorite fan club here. <laughs> Rankin County Sheriff's Department. I bet they ain't got no clue. <laughs> they ain't got no clue who I am. If they only knew I was the Shelby guy. Pick this kid up. Where's my boy? There he is. What's up, dude? You got it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're on green all day? Yes. No trouble, huh? Yeah, trouble. All right, get your seatbelt on. And why are you on YouTube? Just talking to my people. Okay. All right, we got to go to Home Depot so I can buy a tool so we can give it away on YouTube tonight. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Well, we gotta build a fence when we get home. Yeah. You gonna help me with the fence? Yeah, I'm You know how to run the drill? Yes, yeah. my drill. My drill to do yeah. the screws, the screw gun. You got it? Yep. Okay. We didn't work on computers today. No computers? Yeah. Joe? In our buildings. What'd y'all work on? You go to the playground? Yep. Yeah. You stayed on green all day, huh? Mm -hmm. No yellow. No yellow. No red? No red. That's good, buddy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, what you want to do? I don't know. We'll figure out something to do. You gonna go jumping? Yeah. We can do that. Do that. I'm gonna give a hug, Jojo. I'm gonna give a hug. Give Jojo a hug? Yeah. Why well, you wanna hug your brother? Because I love him. You love him? I wanna do that every day and hug him. That's yeah, very sweet, that brother. That's a sweet brother. Yeah. You love your brother? Yeah. That's good. About the new baby, are you excited to get a new baby? Yeah. You want to be. A Sorry, guys, lost service there. All right, we'll go. I got to get off live right now. I got a few customers sending me messages about uh, some toolboxes, but I got to answer them, and then we'll go live. We get back when we get to Home Depot. See you all in a little bit.